Welcome to Midweek Minute. So great to have you along today. And today I'd like to talk about prayer. In the book of Colossians, Paul was writing a letter to a bunch of believers uh, that were going through some difficult times. And uh, he was going to give them some counsel for daily living, to, li to live a victorious and godly life. And one of the things that he mentioned, in fact, I believe it was right at the top of the list, in uh, Colossians chapter 4, uh, verse number 3, uh, he talks about pray. Pray continually uh, with earnest and effectiveness. And uh, that is such a necessary thing for us as Christians to do, to pray. Not only is it necessary, but it's really needed, especially when we consider the condition of our day. You know, this is something that we are very concerned and urgent about, and uh, we're going to be spending, as a church family, uh, the next 30 days in prayer. It's called 30 Days to Unite in Prayer, and it's basically prayer for our nation. I'd like to share the prayer point that's uh, mentioned in this little prayer guide for today, Wednesday, June the 7th. This is what it says. Pray for believers in the United States to be convinced or convicted and stirred to lives of greater godliness, greater evangelism, and greater mission focus. All of these things are so necessary. And it is prayer as we offer our lives to God in prayer that will inspire us and encourage us to live in this dynamic or this dimension. Another thing I'd like to invite you to is on Sunday at 6 p.m. Uh, we're going to have a prayer walk throughout our community. And you're more than welcome to come and join us. We're going to meet at Central Park right in downtown Warren here. And uh, if you're concerned as a Christian about our country, our state, and our city, come and join us for prayer. God bless you and have a great day.